Okay, so we're welcome everybody back again here to one of our centenary podcasts. Uh, tonight we have three men uh, from the great teams of the 70s and 80s, and I'll just give you an idea how old they are. They were talking about vaccinations there just before we came on, so that will give you an idea of, of, of the vintage we are. But, but um, great to have the boys here. We have uh, we have Noel, Noel Waters up there, and then uh, and up to Castle Lottery there, and we have Connie all the way from the Big Apple, and we have John Hearn from Orton Duhill. So you're very, you're very welcome, lads. Thanks very much for coming on. No bother, John. I was going to start. We're going to start off that just quick. We're going to, as I say, we've probably been watching these so far, and it's really kind of get a get a grasp of what you know what went on in the past, and, and obviously your you know your your own careers, and we're trying to touch as many as we can. Uh, start off with you, John. John, you probably there. Listen, this, these three. When when you, I seen the first photograph I came across you in the, in the history was the Manila Cup team in seventy four, but you would have been playing long before that. But when was the start, John? How how early did you start? Um, well. Uh... I was playing um, on the 14s in uh, 66 and the, on the Ardra team. Didn't so didn't, to, didn't I didn't look back far enough, John. That was the problem. And so. No, no, no bother, Johnny. But no, I didn't, didn't go too far that year. But we went to the semi final uh, the next year. I was still on the 14, believe it or not, truthfully, anyway. But right. the, uh, <laughs> the uh, final or the semi final, we're playing Glen or Pidor. And uh, it was one of them famous ones that went on to three games. And uh, the referee, I believe, got hammered one of the... Uh, it was Paddy McGeehan, I think, in Letter Kenny. He right. got a hammer and come in the gate because he uh, <laughs> wasn't, uh, he wasn't very popular. But <laughs> the first game, I think, ended in a genuine draw. <clears throat> and I remember well uh, the film that I was marking was about, he looked like myself, a bit, you know, young and, you know, not young, young and handsome, young and handsome. Well, well good it was looking, good looking, funny to say that, you know, but the thing <laughs> was that uh, the second game we went and uh, <clears throat> we weren't so sure, you know, uh, who won it anyway, but uh, it uh, went to Vet State, a third game. <clears throat> and I think the second game. We reckon we won it by a point or so. They went on to 68 before the final was played. And uh, we played in Letterkenny again the third day. And I remember well, the third day we were coming in, this really came up to mark me. As I say, big difference from the fellow who was marking me first. He had big legs, long side locks down, to, down here to the jaw. And I was thinking, he looks a good old the 14 boy that way, you know. But... Uh, <laughs> We got three goals, I remember, in the first 10 or 15 minutes, and then we got nothing. We had agreed with the referee. The referee didn't show up, and uh, we agreed. And this fellow said he was from Terman or something, but he was a playing member of the Gidor team. He was a Gidor man, John, right? He was a Gidor man, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, the Gidor boys so, forever, huh? <laughs> we, we won that one genuinely because they were scoring it in the sideline. Be a point, and the game was called a draw again. So I think the the our junior team, senior team at that time was uh, doing quite well. So we give up the the thing, and we I, rem I remember Gidor won the final by a bag full afterwards, you know. But that was the the nearest ever got the underage. But at the time, you see, uh, we were playing. Uh, we were in school down in Cork. The two Campbells. Okay and Frankie Sweeney from Minerida. Right. So we had plenty of football all year. Yes. So we were playing college football, John, down there. Playing, yeah. Yeah, we were in East Cork. We won the East Cork Cup <clears throat> the first couple of years I was there. Uh, but we had a good team now. We had uh, that famous buddy of Connie's. John Egan was there. playing oh, right. Yeah, right. From yeah. Kerry, yeah. Uh, and his <laughs> twin brother. That's not right. So, uh, uh, Jerry Egan. So we had we had a good. He was playing midfield, and naturally he could have soloed and kicked everything himself. But he would always pass it. He had a twin brother in corner forward, and I was the other corner forward. But he would always give you a pass at the very end, not like somebody I knew playing. <laughs> <senior>. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, well, that's an early day I wanted to get that in early, you know. I wanted to get that in early. The thing was, but it, it, that was the start of my uh, my football and uh, 
with our draft. Yeah. And you're seven older. You know the one vintage. Probably yeah, I've seen a photograph of the two years on number twenty one team in seventy six. But obviously he's were playing long before that. No, when was your introduction? Obviously it was meet the J school would have been or. I probably meet the J school. Yeah, there, there, was, there wasn't there wasn't much underage football. Like, I only ever remember playing one game under fourteen. Right, and uh, that was against Glenties. And I, I, at that time, I didn't know Connie. Uh, I think the first time I came across Connie was uh, when, uh, see, I was a year in, in Killy Vegs or a year and a half, and I came across Connie one day. I didn't even know. He, he, it was, uh, we're playing Derry CBS, and mm -hmm. that's the first time that I really and truly came, got to know Connie. Do you remember that game when we were playing? Uh, I, I just about know now the barely, but I'm, I, I, I'm yeah. I, I remember that was the first time I came across Connie. We were probably around fifteen at that time. We were playing for for the school, and uh, and that's the way things were then compared to now. Everybody knows everybody is young fellas because they're out out training. Sure, right. Connie, would you, you you mentioned Connie? I was chatting about it. You're on about the schools. Team there, and all you've mentioned some you sort of big one against the unit. One thing was that around another 15 in that time. Well, yeah, I suppose. No. I, I go ahead, no, or, is that for no, no I, 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 Connie was playing that team. That, that had been Annie, or uh, say, uh, Enda McGill would have been playing, and that, that was a school team, was it? Or I that, that, that was a it was a huge result at the time, or it was you know, big, big. I mean. The beats in Unions, like, uh, and an under-15 Loughman in your final, it was probably within the county, would that would that be right? It probably was. Um, yeah. well, it was one, I remember the score, I don't know how come I can remember, it was one three to three points. James E. Barn End would, would, would have been playing, and who was who was quite outstanding, outstanding underage all the way up at that stage. But uh, that's, we bet them, this fellow from Letcher, James E. Barn, he scored the goal, I can remember that. Big Benny, Benny, Benny Gallagher and them would have been playing a lot of the Letcher boys. I suppose Glenties would have had Seamus O'Donnell and Carl Byrne. They would have been around that time. Furies, McGettigans. So that was in the school anyway at that time. Yeah. And that's probably the school football would have been your first official football, Connie. What would have been, or did you play under 14 for the club? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you now, my, my memory of the under 14 was this anyway. Um. I suppose a man with uh, a man's reputation probably would have kind of perceived him, but a man like uh, for being rough and tumble. So I landed over to Glenties anyway, the first time I ever had an Ardor jersey on. So in full forward, and Glenties were beating, beating the daylights out of us. So Bill, Bill Shovlin was full back. So it was rough, it was rough stuff. Anyway, Bill went down under a, a whole clatter of them anyway, and Joe, Joe was on the sideline, Joe Larry, who was always trying to keep us on the straight and out. He had a couple of rows of me, Connie. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't kind of dig it right away. Just a couple of minutes later, the heaving was going on again. We, we couldn't get the ball cleared. Connie, what are you waiting for? Another, another row at me. So I, 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 I tweaked it then. So I headed back. The ball was down under the clatter of them, and we got them straightened up. And ah, uh, they still bear us, but but uh, that that was, <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was the that was the only wrong I think I made that day. Anyway, from the ball forward line to the ball back. <laughs> So we got both, both straightened up and the, the game carried on, but the bit as well. But that that now I wouldn't have had much recollection of uh, under fourteen. Then uh, under sixteen, all right, um, John uh, probably was on the panel. But that was a big, big, strong team. Like uh, the Rodgers combination, and they didn't even have a jersey. I, I remember well, and you can even if you even look at pictures from that era. I was wearing a jersey, a Derry City jersey. That, God rest my auntie Peg. That was my first jersey ever. That was what I was wearing that day. Was I didn't have. They only had seventeen or eighteen jerseys. And, that, that, was and that, that was nineteen seventy-one. Connie, uh, seventy-one. That, have you ever have you ever looked at look at pictures of that uh, oh, team from that yeah. era? You'll see. I was wearing a stripe. That was a Derry City jersey. <laughs> she was, <laughs> auntie Peg was living in Derry. That's where that get, that's where that you came were, from. You were lucky. It wasn't suspended for that, Connie, at the time. <laughs> Leave the suspension for, for another night time. <laughs> <laughs> we could do a show up to their own clinic. Oh, that's that's a whole different that's a whole different podcast there altogether. Right? <laughs> no, you were you playing with a fourteen or, ju or juvenile? You played? Did you play much juvenile after that? Or? Well. It's funny, I can't remember too, too much about I remember we, we were with Lois Glenties uh, one of the years, you know, uh, and that's when um, Andrew McGill was at age, uh, what he was brilliant at that age, as Connie was saying. Yeah. 
But uh, I don't remember too much about. I never played too much games at that. Probably there was, there was the time I really came into it. You know, yeah, there seemed to be a time during the seventies, and everyone seems to say that there was very little games played underage games. There was kind of a period there through the yeah. mid seventies, especially there was very few underage games played. I would say the fourteen to one hundred seventy six was kind of a kickstart to something. Again, uh, you know the things to left the things a bit with with Anthony and Jared Bannon and them lads came on that time, you know. Yeah. Right. Um, but uh, John, no, you, you 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 would have been coming kind of months ahead of them boys, uh, you know. Yeah. But, uh, and, uh, I was with the uh, dog Letty selection for the first uh, couple of games, and uh, I hurt. I got hurt. I hurt me back, and uh, I uh, I went one day down to Devers to be picked up by a car, and they were gone, and. Uh, that was the end of my career on the on the <laughs> on the, on the, on the, the, the oh, <laughs> that was the start of your career, John. And I would like had a good they had a good team now. Uh, I played the, the the first game, and I remember they had a you know Jerry McDermott was playing, Pat Eamon, God rest him, uh, Michael O'Donnell, Michael Jack, uh, Vincent Fury, not Vincent Fury, Patsy Fury. And they were all very, very good. There was a very good team between the two of them. We had John Boyle, and uh, we had Kieran Keeney, Josie Galler, uh, you know, uh, Martin. Strong, strong, strong team, John. We're a strong team, a very strong panel. Declan yeah. McGill, uh, you know, the, the panel was very, very strong. And I, probably the, the way they looked at it, I wasn't, I didn't show up in time, so they left me there, you know, so. It was like typical, uh, the, the, the old club hadn't changed a lot really, you know, throughout my career, if you... I know, you were waiting for the big stuff, you were waiting for the big stuff, John. Connie, Connie, I used to hear them go down to get them out of bed, and nobody bothered them, they, they didn't see me there at Devers, they were going, you know, so... Uh, just to, they, weren't, uh, they weren't breaking the down school, the door to get me. On the school uh, thing, um, like my first medal anyway was in Glenties, and again... You mentioned a good few of them there, John, like Pat Boyle, Jerry McDermott, Kieran Keeney. So they had about six teams anyway over there. Um, that was my, probably my first year now, but it was seven aside. So all the big guns at the time, like Jerry McDermott was quite a player, and Michael O'Donnell, Sean Houston, Frankie Rogers, Keeney. But anyway, we won it out. Me and Pat Eamon, will you hear my team? Me and Pat Eamon, Nearly Big Francie, Pat McGuire. Teddy Fish, Teddy Fisher, Eamon feeling like an, <laughs> there was a lot of fancy boys in these other teams. We were, <laughs> we would be taking, we would be taking a piece, you know. And, but we won it out anyway. It's the first medal I ever got. It was, and God, like God rest Pat Eamon has passed on now. But I, I would always meet him, and he would always say to me, "Do you still have that medal that I, that I got for you there the first year in, in the competition?" <laughs> but we we had a tough crew, nearly big fancy and Teddy Fisher, like anything. It, Anything, anything that wasn't lying, which shouldn't be tossed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, there, there was no, no prisoners taken with that team, Connie, in fairness. No, no, no it, was, it, was, it was heavy duty. Like, uh, Eamon, I another fellow, too, would have been a rough and tough customer. Eamon Phelan from Glenties, from the town. We just, uh, just wouldn't remember. Well, Phelan, Eamon Phelan from the town, yeah. He was, he was another team that day. That'll be my mem memory, of, memory of the school, anyway, and then that under 15, that's off on your thing, you know. That's good. But as we're moving on through the seventies, then obviously things started to get progressively better, you know. And, and I seen probably the first kind of well, I know it was only a, a game between our the Ryan Glen, but I noticed and as said I mentioned you earlier on John the Manelis Cup in seventy four was was kind of a when they won the Manelis Cup that year. And um that probably won a cup at any stage at that stage was a bit of a boost. Obviously the, the juniors had won the championship in seventy, but it was kind of a lull after that. And uh, and says, so that do you remember much about that, John? That game, the Manila's Cup final, yeah, I'll tell you, yeah, I do. Um, it, there was a, an amazing change from that time you were saying about the, the junior team, but there were a junior team then, and uh, in uh, round the 74, 73, 74, the change came, uh, they came a lot of young fellas and nearly all of the same, including Connie. That's the first time I ever played along with Connie. Uh, they they all showed up, yeah. And you know there was a, all of a sudden a great uh, crowd of young fellas. But the older, you know, Jean Brennan was still playing, Packy Keeney and a few of them, uh, and they were there. And I was going to say Patsy Gillay, but I'll have to meet him in the town, so I won't say it. Uh, the <laughs> thing is, no, Patsy was still uh, on the go good, but uh, there, there was a lot of players 
that were just reaching retirement age, but they hung on for a, for a year or two. But the, the uncles basically, uh, you know, uh, proved that they were better than them. And it improved the club quite a lot from going from uh, being uh, a club that you could play. Although I remember, Connie, I think you were playing a few games too. We played junior football for uh, a couple of years or second division and whatever in the league. Right. And you were going nowhere, you know, we were playing the same kind of a team and you never rose above a certain standard. And I think it was 75 or whatever that we got Paddy Keeney or Big Paddy or something got us into the seniors in the senior right. league. And we That's right. I, think was, I, think it, I think it might have been a, li a little bit later than that, John, was it? When we got into the seniors? I think, I think, it, was, I think it was 76 because after oh, 76, 76. Our, first, our first year was 77, I think, because remember Kelly Beggs beat us in the, in the junior semi-final in 76. And that's yeah, the, you uh, couldn't read John. And, yeah, and, a replay. yeah. And, and I think the story was Paddy Kinney often told it that that uh, we were in Division Two at the time, but Bert had been promoted to Division One, but didn't want to go up. And there was a county board meeting, and Paddy was who was the Lifford delegate at that stage. Paddy proposed that I that I be promoted, and we were there for 40, 43, 44 years after. That's that's how we got up in the first time. Yeah, I was, yeah, you're yeah. right, John. But that yeah. improved the standard immensely from that on. Because we were playing the same teams. You know, we could go way down to, to play a team or even up in the Mount Charles. And, you know, they, they were, it was a bloody awful field as well as that rose. There was a load of <laughs> rush bushes and, you know. Just to interrupt uh, you one wee minute there, John. We, we played, I remember playing down in Burt. And it was a, it was one of them typical days, fourteen and Mooney. I, was, I didn't know Charlie too well at the time. But I bet Charlie was up on the corner, and between the cow dung and there were thistles there, there were Charlie and Mooney. I'm not kidding you. You you, you couldn't even see Charlie and, and between falling about and everything. Yeah, it was it was some it was some joint down in Burt. Well, I think you were you were down this. I think you were there. It was yeah. You see, I remember them too as well, Connie. But they brought us down to the same standard. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they were more used to playing hurling than they were playing football. Really, no, Don was, was a tight effort, Don. It's a field I'll never forget it. But Mooney in the corner would always stand out. And he, he landed in <laughs> nice, but a quite clean togs. But he only, only was only was rolled a few times and, and, he, got, and he, got him, he got him straightened up too. He was that sort of, you couldn't see him. Charlie was the business, he was the best. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie picked some teams in the, on the 20 major, the back of the 20 major box. Oh my god. Uh, and, and, and even even we would he would even go to the ten the ten pack once in a while. You wouldn't have That's to <laughs> <laughs> and the blue, the blue Volkswagen money bus the money. It used to be fifteen or twenty in some days. No, I, I remember. Time? Sorry, go, go ahead, ahead. Connie, go ahead. Go ahead Connie. I actually remember. I remember again when I got to know Charlie going to Thunder one evening. I think I think there was nine of us. He had this yoke. He called it the white big white sweeper. So anyway, <laughs> he, we got out anyway, and Big John and the whole lot and. And then the next thing he started dragging, he had about 10 pairs of boots in the back. He was, you know, he reckoned to be big John, I think, wasn't be fun to come in with the gear. <laughs> I, I, I said, I said, Charlie, you must have appeared in the other. Cut me too. Oh, he'd be away. You have your own. He says, if these other boxes uh, I'd be worried about, he says. <laughs> no, no, did you, did you just join the setup at that stage or the senior team? I uh, had, I was. Playing the day that in that game that Connie was talking about there, Charlie Mooney. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we came along all at the one time, and it's, uh, maybe it was from the the minor team. Right, four or five of us through that time, you know. Yeah, and, I don't know. And, and Connie, we all came through at the one time. Yeah, that's about yeah. And Connie and Gilday, and we came a, a good gang through that time. That on the twenty one team in seventy six seemed to be a fairly you know there came a lot of players out of it. Yeah, there's a big improvement in the club anyway, you know, uh, it, it encouraged everybody along with them too as well, you know, there was some great talent, like Mickey and Andy, Mickey Goller, Andy McGill, even Bill, he played for a while, Yeah, and like Conor Layden himself, like, you, I would always remember the, you know, we we're talking of that year of 77, St. Joseph's up in the, uh, up in Bally Shannon, like, and they and they had probably the guts of ten county men, and and we drew with them, uh, yeah, and a uh, first round game, and I'll always, I'll never forget, like, you know, your the scores, you'll always remember great scores, and I mean, they'll they'll you'll, they'll always talk, 
you know, but Morris Fitzgerald's great point there. And sort of for Connell Aiden for over the, the equaliser that day off the ground from about 25, 26 yards out. That, that was as good as that was as good as you would ever want to see, you know, was was the, literally the last kick of the game. That was, you know, just I remember them games big, they played St. Joseph that year in the first round of the championship, I think. And uh, they, they just talked about, they, obviously, they were they were a loaded team at the, at the time. It was, they oh, they had, you could, I could name them, like Carney, Declan McCarroll, McShay, McEnough, Granahan, the whole lot, the whole, the whole works. Peter, sure. uh, Barry, your man Barry, too, that the goalkeeper, Alan, God rest him, I think he passed uh, Alan Kane. That's right, yeah, that's right, yeah, and passed the really. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. These boys were all playing for Ulster, never mind, never mind Donny Gall, you know, Carney. Yeah, that's right, you're right, Connie, yeah, you're right. You know, serious, serious, I'm trying to compete with them now. And and the and then with the, the return game down in Kentucky, like McEnough got kind of fortunate, he, he punched two yeah. goals to the net. And the beatest, the beatest that day by two goals, I think. But uh, uh, that was making enough. He was, uh, he was, he was going for points them. that day, and he's. I think, I think you're right, no. He, yeah, he's punching, yeah. he's punching the ball for points, and they just went and in the two and in the corner. Uh, the two of them fell in. Uh, uh, two, uh, well, that's what they beat us by six points. To be honest, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it was a real yeah. challenge. Right. Was that was that the that seventy seven? Was that the year with the first the first game? That was a good breakthrough as well. One on the first come out just that time. Ah, first right, the first time down to Dingle, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. That was seventy seven, was it? Seventy seven, John. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, who, who put us, Can you remember much of that, boys? It must have been a bit of crack that weekend. It was probably the first weekend that everyone well, was away. It was a brilliant weekend. <laughs> ah, it was <laughs> it was unbelievable. Like, I, I'll just give my summation of it anyway. Like uh, we met. We met the great man. Actually, we were staying in the home place, Paddy's home place out in Bentry, Paddy O'Shea. So the Friday night, anyway, me and Colin Aiden and a couple, we hooked up Paddy himself. He, he, was, he was a guard in Limerick at the time. And uh, he was only, I don't know, he had to be only after coming on the scene. But he was driving this Mark IV Cortina and the nose was cut off it. it complete, and he must have, he hopped her. So we hung in with Paddy anyway, whatever place we were in. It, wasn't, it wouldn't have been his own place, whatever joint we were in. And the crack was good, and we were squeezing party. Party, what happened to the car? What happened? And he eventually told us, ah, he says, I met some fellas uh, gate over the road there. <laughs> he, says, he took the nose off her. But anyway, there's, uh, just to add to the story, next morning, anyway, we were in the house and uh, um, down for the breakfast, half eight, nine o'clock. Who comes through the door on your party? He was after doing at least six miles out on the strand, and, and he was after closing the joint out. So he was tough. He was a good man to train, and he was he, yeah, so, uh, but it, other than that, it was, it was unbelievable, like, it was the first probably, it was an unbelievable trip, you know. We, uh, I could add a wee bit to that, John, I'll add a wee bit to that, because I was in the same house, uh, <laughs> and uh, the, the mother and father was there around that time, she was from Slego. Ah, uh, that's right. Uh, yeah, and uh, the father was there, and Pawnee's, uh, uh, what do you call them, father was there at that time too, the, the uh, or Potty's brother, I mean, the, the, the three boys, the three James, boys' father. James was his name, James. Yeah, right? he was there, but I'll tell you, uh, John, we landed back from Dingle uh, that night, the first night, and I was chatting to the lady at all, uh, uh, for a long time, and I said to her, uh, listen, make sure that the bar is closed when the boys come back. <laughs> and she says, no, don't you worry about it. You know, when I said, no, no, I said, I knew the crowd. Lanty was staying too, was he, Curry? <laughs> he was. You and Lanty. No, how long am I? Was Lanty there, was he? I don't know Lanty. I'm not no. sure, but I, no. I know no. that. Lanty and, Lanty and Anthony couldn't travel, I think. Would they have been doing the... They probably can't understand a minor or something. Would they have been that time? No, I think they were doing the leaving. Would that have been right? No, no that would have been, been right, been. yeah. Well, I, I know, I know that there's a, there wasn't a great crowd in either, uh, you know, the, but she said to me, I'll give you the key of the, the, the place. And I said, no, no, I don't want it. But she let the place open. When we landed in at about two o'clock from Dingle, the place was still there. Uh, and the boys went in and had a few drinks. And I remember I took 14 pounds off them for a drink. And they said, fuck your wild deer. <laughs> there, and there were no, nobody wanted to give out money. You know, <laughs> <laughs> nobody wanted to give anything, but there was a big crowd that was in it, you know, so they all drank for a good while, and uh, I gave her the money the next day. Oh, she was more than delighted about the uh, getting the money, oh, you, know, that, uh, you know, she says, uh, they never I drank that much, and I says, well, it's uh, covered. The next night, I remember saying, I think she was waiting at the door saying, 
listen, if you want to drink, no bother at all. Go on and take it, whatever you want. You know, I think you remember. I, I do remember some of the stuff that you're coming coming there with. All right, John. <laughs> <laughs> who, do, who, do, who do we say that again? No, do you remember? Who do we say that again? Again, I forget now. Hey, no, um, um, you remember Connie? You want? You was it Galway? Uh, I think it uh, was it Bally Burney. There's that who we met. Bally Burney, yeah. That's right. You're having we that. Bally Burney, uh, yeah. Because they, they had a big, they had a big base around the middle. He was a serious Cork player at the time. Right. Jerry, Jerry, Lucy. Right, right. Yeah. That's that's right, Ted. Hey. So <laughs> when you hear, so anyway, the game was only after starting. Like, and I, we didn't. The game was only on about five minutes. So I must have run into one of them anyway, and uh, he, he, he kind of, he must have killed. It. I don't know what happened. So next thing I could hear, some buck come from the corner back position. Connie, don't be at that. Just, they know you down here too. <laughs> <laughs> mm. from, I can't think of his name now from Kilcar. was working down, he must have been working on Bally Burney, one of the Kilcar boys at the time. And geez, I couldn't, I looked over in the senior man, all right? Oh my God. But all oh, this boy, big Jerry Lucy, uh, he was... Jerry, uh, some uh, size of a man. Oh, the size of him. You remember that, Noel? Jesus yeah. Christ, you, you need the, you need the six, you need the six foot, you need the six foot ladder to get near him. <laughs> <laughs> well, it must have been a, it was a great experience at the time. Was, it, were you, was that the time around the time you were on Dublin that time, Connie, or was it after that? Uh, uh, that'd be after that that we've been in Dublin. We've been, ah, we went to Dublin uh, after that. You're Dublin, right, Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. say seventy what? Probably. Well, we no, seven. I would have been. I would have been in the regional. I don't know now that the Guns get any more education. Uh, <laughs> I was oh, in the no, regional. Because less than you. <laughs> <laughs> the regional the regional for me was another episode I was there for three years and I had no Gaelic team at all soccer so we like we like get into this I wouldn't want to start talking about some of the episodes with the soccer around that and Kenny I'll stop no, no. <laughs> Well, 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 you should, you should um, obviously, the shield, uh, the shield was kind of the next big one in the shield, but it was a huge deal at that time, mind. there was a fantastic trophy for the, the big wooden trophy that I remember it well, and there was a wild competition at the time, I remember, it used to yeah. battle it out with the Kearney of Club and that game, but that was kind of yeah. a major breakthrough at the time. No, the that was, uh, that particular game, I had uh, some recollection of it, all right, like, I thought we were doomed at half time, we had the one, and I don't even know if we had the... I think the teams were level or close enough to level or very but anyway, I'll never forget mentioning Connell Aiden again five minutes into the second half against the one. He stuck one in the net and it was snip and tuck like the whole way to the end. And that was that was the day that Anthony came on. Mm. You remember that? No, 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 no. Against Glenn Donovan tri this boy oh, Michael Donovan yeah, was a goal. Yeah. And he and he and he, and he, and he, he tripped the first was that John? You might know. Was that the first shield? The first time it was, 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 was a seventy-eight, seventy-nine. It was the first year. It was a it was a shield. It was a shield of seventy-eight, but it was finished in seventy-nine. That's right. It was run through the and winter time. Part, I can remember. Run through the yeah. winter time, but they didn't. We didn't yeah. get to finish it off until seventy-nine. But Anthony you know, Donovan took a bad kick out and put a straight into Anthony's hands on the fourteen. He, Anthony was only fifteen. He only came on. He was only he on the field. Right. It was the only kick he got, but it was enough, <laughs> and it, was, it, it cemented it for us. He stuck it in the back of the net. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, I'll, never, I'll never forget how the cavalcade, there were cars still coming coming round at the Bracky Bridge when we were in the town, you know, it was, it was an oh, unbelievable right. crowd, the support oh, was, right. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable, left too. Oh, yeah. It was a big, it really was a bit, it was a kind of a kickstart at the time too, you know, the gift that was oh. one thing, but the shield was, that kind of proved that we could beat the best that time. Uh, because yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right, John. And the semi final, so, we beat McCoon's. And uh, and they had four or five county players, like like it was a, it was a, it was a big one, you know, on the semi final. That's right. Yeah, we bet. Yeah, we bet uh, McCoo's. Yeah, we bet. Um, we bet McCoo's one of the years in the final. I um, the following year we bet McCoo's in the final. The final yeah, we right. bet them in the semi final the first year, and then killed, and we bet uh, Glenn that the the, the the second year in the semi final. I'll never forget that uh, uh, Anthony was playing the second day anyway, and Griffin Griffin must have uh, kind of touched on him and so I, I I give Griffin a bit of a variable anyway. And next thing he shouts over to Dunleavy. Jeez, he says, hey, 
don't leave me. Watch out here. There's a win of these boys around. Everything <laughs> 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 was a win. There's a win of these boys about. Watch out here, boys. <laughs> but Griffin was always, ah, he was, he was, he was, uh, they mention him again, they mention him like he was great out sport and he was a great player and well, always player. mighty sense of humour. Like, you know, you'd always get the crack at it. There's, right, a win of these, right. there's a win of these boys around, but Anthony was only very young again, like, and he was playing that second day. That's right, you know. Mm. That's right. But I remember that team, and I can't touch on any of the audience. I remember as a young fellow going to club beatings, there used to be all about how many of the Dublin boys come down this weekend. There must have been a big crowd of Dublin out well, up that team when you were up. It was, see, so they were eight of us away, you know. The, the, yeah. There was eight, oh, eight, 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 eight. Like, would care to be anywhere in the country, you know, and the Harkon was away, and Josie was about Dublin. There, there was a big gang. Oh, sure, we were all like three. I think yeah. me, Lanty, and Anthony was there for a, a while or summer, or uh, yeah. then yourself and Eddie. Mm-hmm. Pete Chaplin was up there too. He, like, he, uh, you know, he wouldn't be, but he would, be, he would play the fair bit with the juniors. And Bobby, Eddie, was Bobby, Bobby, was Bobby, Bobby up there too, was he? Was Bobby like Bob, there, was he? yeah, Bob, uh, Bob Moore, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was there. Yeah. Well, that was, oh, we had, uh, we had. Well, that reminds me, we were, we were, um, were travelling back anyway. I was just, <laughs> I was just thinking there that Connie had a great ice, a great eyesight. <laughs> we were, uh, I don't know, was there a county game or something? We're yeah, at, right. Uh, <laughs> and we're heading back anyway. So Frank was away ahead of us, do you think? <laughs> yeah. So what we, we're coming into into Navin, nothing only a cloud of white smoke. Ah, hold on, no. We were huh? going back from the game in Donegal. I remember go ahead, you uh, tell it, but we, we were on our way back from the game anyway. Uh, the, the race game. was on the chief said that he uh, the Frank or the chief as they call him here. Uh, he reckoned he could beat anybody going back to Dublin. But go ahead, you tell the story But anyway, so Ah, we're going on next thing, going into Navin, nothing, only a cloud of smoke. And I have Connie saying, big fella, the big fella, I didn't know fuck what he was on about. You know, the big fella, the big fella. And uh, I couldn't, I, I wondered how could he see who it was, because there was nothing, only smoke. Oh, I remember now, it was right, like... It was, a, it was Big Frank, and, and the, the blew the engine of the car. <laughs> 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 and I had John's car with me, and I remember the, the fan, the, the, it was blowing out cold air, and she's always starving, the, the blowing out cold, probably you were getting the cold air well, Connie. Oh, uh, stop. Myself and Connie headed, we took Frank, who did, who, I don't know who was the car with us, but we, we took Pete Shovelin with us, and we, we headed up, and I had to go then and get Morris's car, then to come back down to pick up the rest, and the boys were all partying at two o'clock in the morning. Remember we came back in the night? There, there, the, the big fella, it was the Frank that caused the whole shamozzle with his own car, and now he, he picked up the square one in some place in Navin, we couldn't get him out then. He, 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 lost, he, lost all track of, he lost all track of himself. <laughs> we, we, we nearly had a lane behind us in Navin. I, I remember that, Noel, yeah. And, and uh, the other the other thing there to, about John Horn, uh, John would be one of the men. That, no concept for time. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was managing the team in nineteen eighty six, and we were playing for the Shannon and in, and in Kilkar on the Sunday. The only we were training, we're flat out, and there was Sunday showers. It was a very bad evening anyway on the South Sea, and there was Sunday showers, and we're training, we're we're flat out. Sprinting. So anyway, last five minutes. Last five minutes. The last five minutes went on for 40 minutes. He just killed. <laughs> <laughs> so now I think of John an old concept for time at all. Well, I'll tell you, if you, you know, the, the one funny, one of the funny instances when I have a load of them about Connie, you know, <laughs> the, the little dressing room down in, in Kentucky. Uh, we were being beaten by four points. I can't remember who we were playing one day anyway, and uh, it was a kind of a cold day too, and you had to go through the gate and then run through a mm. bit of a down rough bit and hop a uh, drain and get into the dressing room. And they were going like hell, passing, and you know, they were running past you like crazy. And uh, I got into the dressing room anyway, and uh, <clears throat> I went into the corner. And I was looking around, I said nothing, I put the head down because I knew Connie was coming, bad humour, because pure, pure rubbish they were playing for a while. And Connie's looking around and the boys are, you know, shaking and, and kind of half laughing. And Connie says to him, I don't know why these are all laughing, he said. 
He says, the fastest I've seen any is going all day was fucking coming off the field. (laughs) 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 So, anybody that opened their mouth was in trouble then, you know, because uh, when when that was up, you just keep your head down and say nothing. You know, I, I, I'll, tell, I'll just tell you another one when we hear about our time in Dublin. I don't know if you're there this particular morning, no, but when we were in Dublin you know, with the big crowd, we would always try and get out on a Sunday morning for a bit of training, you know. And uh, I would usually take it or um, maybe once in a while we would have Kieran with us and Kieran would be a good man. He would, you know, so. But anyway, this particular Sunday morning, uh, we headed up anyway, good crowd. It was Eddie was there, Pete. I don't know. I don't know where you're there or not. No, if you remember no, that, can't remember. But what did I tell no. it? You might remember it. So the ball, Stephen McCall was on board anyway. So that time we fancied ourselves a bit at the soccer. So we went up anyway. We met the Fantown boys and the local box from Glenties, and we decided we'd play a bit of the soccer. They wanted some to make up the numbers. So there's anyway. McCall was out on the wing, and that and and, and he did. <laughs> he modelled on himself on a fella called Vila. Remember Vila? He came from Argentina to Spurs. He the whole oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole, whole time going. So McCall was out on the wing anyway, and I was playing around the middle centre forward. And uh, this now the, the service was bad, and he was getting plenty of ball, and the crosses were getting worse by the by the minute. And and and, and he was down. Uh, he was down to now zero nearly. There was nothing at all coming. So I, I probably the, the origin. That he was getting wasn't helpful to me either. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing, anyway, I let, I let another sprout at him anyway, and he was out of the corner of my eye. There was no ball coming, but I could see McCall was coming anyway. He was coming, that was the biggest run he made, and he was coming straight for me. I knew he, I, I was going to, whatever his intentions were, but I said to myself, geez, I, I, I can't, I, I have to go too. So I headed, I headed for the gate. So mm-hmm. the next thing, anyway, Pete Sullivan was playing full and the full back then. Jeez, what's wrong with Connie? That he's away early in the day. He's, he must be. He must be in a hurry to get the train and start it. But, but Pete Sullivan didn't realise that Connie was running for his life. I and the Cahal coming after him. <laughs> 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 and when I got as far as the gate anyway, I looked around and then the Cahal had given up the ghost. And then we ah, we got it ironed out anyway. But that was one of the stories with, with uh, Stephen with the, with the shot. But. I think we, I think we cut back on the soccer after that time in Dublin. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, you know another story about it. We told her that at the, at the, at the night Kieran got the Hall of Fame, but it was big, big Frank, and there was some kind of about, about oh, some run was done in Dublin. Yeah, it's one of the times that Kieran was about Dublin again, and he was staying with Connie. Do you think he was, he was staying with Connie that that time? And so anyway, James had come up to Dublin because Margaret had been in the hospital at the time, and so was up. But Kieran knew that he was there, so. The boys all arrived out, you see, Connie, Frank, Pete Shovelin. I don't know who else, it was Lanty there or not, you see, but they all, so when we came back, we just went into the, the bell yard and the boys were sitting in the bell yard. And so quite any of the conversation went on and anyway, about training. Frank was, had started his training very early that year, you know, and <laughs> he, he says, he, Connie was sitting beside Frank, that's a man there now, he said, that man, he said, no, he hasn't been fit since, 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 he, since he started catching, when he, when he used to catch lambs up and to paint them on, up in the mountain. He hasn't been fit since, he says. And Connie was sitting there with his head down, he says, you'd be a long time down in Kentucky before a lamb would pass you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all that. So, but on the end, you see, Frank was out. Connie was, Connie was out along with them. We went out to run in the park. They run between the two gates. <laughs> Connie arrived out early. Connie didn't run, you see. He, he stayed in the car. <laughs> Frank must have done the run anyway and he reacted to Cairn. Well, I would bet you and a three mile run. And uh, <laughs> Kieran would have challenged him and he, and he says to, Kieran says to Connie, how long did it take him to do it? Connie says, I don't know, I was sleeping for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a funny, funny session, you know, just one thing after another. John, you were getting involved in the, in the, in the, in the, in the that's just, uh, mostly in the forward end, but you ended up in the back team. But 
when you were on the forward line, the doubt I said wasn't good, and there was a lot of stories going around about maybe incidents, maybe Connie. It must have been, it must have been hard work trying to feed him with the ball that time. Feed John or feed Lee? John, John, we feeding John in the corner. There was an episode. There was, there was an episode in the yeah. Park with a plastic bag one time that's pretty that's got a got a got a heard a, a few times. Was, can you have a, can you elaborate on that one, John? Maybe you can elaborate I, on that John, one. John, I, 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 I remembered well. I remember um, Sean McIntyre was marking me, and he was as blind as I was. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember that I was in left corner forward, and Sean was right corner back. And the the fellow was uh, right half back was wasn't the best eyesight either. But we played the county played I think in Bad Buffet, and we went to Leather Kenny for a, a league game on a, a Sunday evening. <clears throat> it wasn't too bad if it was bright. But it was now grey evening, and the grass hadn't been cut for maybe a few weeks or whatever. But um, Connie, it was, I remember Connie was involved in it because he kicked the ball, probably going for a point, but it was about 40 yards going wide or whatever it looked like. It. Not too often, not too often, John. Too often. Go ahead. We I you. ran out, I seen that, I ran out, and we kind of scoping where it might have went, and I seen this white thing. <laughs> and uh, I was about about five yards away or three yards away when I spotted it was a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> and as I was about that, as I was about to stop, McIntyre ran into me and drove me in on top of the plastic bag. <laughs> and I was getting up and away, and McIntyre knew this stayed no ball. The other fellow tackled me too, no ball at all. And next thing I looked over in the middle, Connie was there with the ball, and he was wondering what the fuck are them three fellas at? The one thing I must tell you before I forget this, before the soul story, Connie was the best, you know, for, uh, you know, coming in, he would be soloed away, and fantastic at it too as well, you know. But there was a few times I did get free, and I'd be there standing in front of the goals, and I would I'd be standing there, and then uh, either he would lose it or get a point or whatever. And I would say to I would say to Connie, "Geez, it was free." I said, uh, "You could you should have passed it to me." And Connie's favourite one was, uh, "But sure, I may as well have kept it wide myself." <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. Which, which there's no answer to that only have a laugh <laughs> he had much faith on. in you John oh. <laughs> I, I, I had the one good thing uh, I had a good sense of humour and Connie knows that for years the fact was that I wouldn't get insulted in a way you know uh, I'm just well I'll laugh. tell you one thing i got to say that John I just got to interrupt you because it was even like uh, I would have been involved in the, and the variables big time opposition. Even I would maybe be losing the rag with my own. But in fairness to you, you always took it, and you, and and I I could never bet that you. The more there'll be said to John Hearn, the bigger the, the wider the grin, the bigger the smile would be. You just you laughed it off, and you, you played away, and and you 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 were you were a good old sport about it all. To be honest, well, I do, that, the fact of enjoyment, you know, the whole idea to me was on a Sunday to have a. I played one if possible, enjoyed it anyway. And uh, as I say, the, 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 the after match celebration or whatever it was later was always good because nearly everybody stuck together and they mixed with all the most of the teams that they played. I would say were in Lenakenny or in, uh, anywhere we were playing away. We got to know every one of them players that played for their, their clubs as well. And we had always we were yeah. comrades. But at the same time, when you go out in the field, we were the exact same thing. One foot got hit, the whole lot got hit. That was the yeah. whole idea. One and the whole lot's in. Yeah, that's <laughs> the way. <laughs> to, be, to, be, to be honest about the whole thing, and I was, I was going to tell that to John before we got on this podcast, that um, for all the, the younger ones, we definitely wouldn't be considered, or the young, young kids coming along now, we wouldn't be considered role models back in the day because it would have been a fair bit of the heavy stuff involved, like, and it was, you know, uh, truth for truth or whatever way, you know, but that's that's how the game was played back then. And you just didn't, you didn't want to let anybody one up you, you know, so. 
It was hard to get home some of them days, boys, especially like the likes of Glenn. And, you know, I, was, I was chatting a good chat with Kieran, Kieran Kinney there on Sunday last time. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were chatting about it. It was a few hairy days in Glenn after games. It was Is hard to get home. Did he mention uh, me, John? He, he, didn't mention me. he didn't mention any names, John. Oh, I remember it. one day, you know, he, he must have been, uh, whenever I did, I started with Frank and he won a Dowdle raffle and Glenn won one, game, one day we were in playing. He won a hundred pound, yes. and uh, it was in Biddy McShane's. I'm not sure which of the pubs it was, but Frank got it and he threw it up on the counter and he said to buy a drink. So, oh, Jesus, it was the right crowd. All the crowd from Glen <laughs> and Arda went to drink. You no, know? so I had my car parked out the front, and they were coming out, and I was well tight. Uh, they coming out anyway. And they, they were getting into the car, and I was looking, I thought, geez, there's a while not going into the car, but they were getting out the other side when the spot it was me was, was driving the thing, and I oh, shit, no way. But <laughs> Keeney came in anyway, and uh, <clears throat> he sat in the front. Uh, I remember uh, Jared McNeilis was in, a, a, a couple of others, but we headed out and we had uh, the old bridge coming out there. Uh, just at the uh, meaning areas or whatever. Crawl, that, square. Crawl, huh? that old bridge took a turn for the worst on me oh, when yeah. I was passing it. <laughs> 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 the thing was, and we were down anyway, uh, and we got only a little dunt and off we went up and we were heading just uh, the other side of Crov and uh, just before you go up the top of the Glen Gash, there was a bit of an old bog road there and the eyesight wasn't the best, so Jesus, I put it in there again. <laughs> I'd put in the two front wheels, so Keeney uh, and myself were out, and I think Jared Manillas got in to, to reverse the it, car. Was Martin Switty with you in that? Uh, was he along with you that day too? I, it could have been, but I remember we got the car out of the way, but I lost my two shoes <laughs> on that the goddamn bog. And off we went. <laughs> down, down, down Glen Gash, into the hotel, and uh, we're knocking at Connie's, and next thing Connie says, yeah, okay, guys. So he looked out at me when I was walking past him, and he says, things are getting tough, John. And I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt. You, you probably told him that you were no, on a poser mix. <laughs> no, wonder, hey, no wonder you were catching paper bags, John, huh? <laughs> 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 but you know what? Uh, I was going to add a little bit to it, but I will now when I think of it. I was thinking because the next week, uh, that wasn't too far from where Connie was way down to the left. Lanty must have come on the shoes because he had a lovely pair of shoes the next Sunday. I see them on the ground. You can cut that out, Johnny. Different times, and that's what we spoke about. With, I spoke about it, Kieran, that you know, the, the, like, the, the thing probably has gone too serious now. That the fun, the fun that team was, was half the battle. I mean, it really was enjoyable at the time, and everyone, oh, yeah. as you say, is your, your friends for life because of it, probably, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's I remember even now, just going back to the Gale Tech, we went down to Clonbur one year. <laughs> And there was 300 people from our down. That's right. And there was Burks, I think it was Burks, the name of the place. <coughs> but the only people that they would allow in, if you're from our or you're from Clonbur, they didn't want to let anybody else in. Because That's right. all the our crowd went in. Uh, that, that, was in that, was, that was 1980. It was not 80, yeah. Uh, I remember yeah, that well. <laughs> you see, that was the kind of. Uh, you had all them with you, and they would support you no matter what, you know. Uh, and it was a weekend away for a lot of them, you know. There were a few, uh, a few bicycles missing that weekend, John. Oh, I remember funny. <laughs> 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 no, I think that was in Ballyburney. Yeah, I thought it was Clon Burr, no? No, it was Ballyburney because no. we had, there was a big long straight bit of a road, uh, <laughs> and uh, the couple of bicycles went over the wall. <laughs> I don't know how anybody cycled up them roads, <laughs> but I remember that, and that was in Ballyverney. Yeah, uh, we, uh, we had a lot of fun, a lot of fun in Clonbar. God rest poor Josie. He was there. He was. He was. Uh, he was a main. He was a main music man them days. And uh, 
Jeez, I, I, I don't know, but I, I could play a bit on the accordion. I do the accordion with me, and uh, Mick McCall was there, and he was good man, Josie Gala, good man, Josie, Josie on the field, and Josie on the bar. Playing, <laughs> and it was, it was great times, like, you yeah. know, and it was, it was different times. It was good, it was all fun, and it was... Do you remember Martin Whelan was the guard there that time? That's right, that's right. Yeah, uh, yeah you know, that's uh, correct. And uh, Martin was good fun on his own. Doesn't yeah. it, doesn't indulge at all now, off it completely. Uh, sure. yes. Yeah, right. But, uh, but that was yeah. that was uh, I think it was that was the year the Clonbar put us out of it, was not we were I think they went on to win it then. Clonbar yeah, did say that then that the, 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 the Joyce yeah. Stephen Joyce and them like yeah, yeah. big 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 Kenevy full back, uh, Jerry Kenevy. I think he played for Galway a bit too, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That was a that was a year obviously we've touched on it a few times different fellas. And the, the, that was the year the Kilcar County final was which was a big disappointment at the time. Uh, yeah. I was probably hot, raging hot favourites that year and, and Kilcar was there were the better team on the day. McHugh was outstanding that day. Yeah, that's I don't know, I, don't know. I, I remember I remember well Noel, you were our best player that day, you know, made a match that day too. Yeah. I, I would have to hold. I would have to hold my hand up and say now that a man just didn't fire him. Michael, I, I, I was marking Carr. I wasn't no, nowhere near him. Like and probably should have been, maybe somebody else should have been moved on to him. But Michael Carr ran the show that day, and then McHugh had the had the big. But Noel, Noel had a big game. Yeah, that's right. Well, you were playing wing half. You were playing wing half back that day. No, you were on the ball a lot. You, you, you were coming pushing I, forward. Uh, well, it's a funny thing. I, I had very little training done that year, but the only thing is. Uh, it's what I got plenty of rest. You see, I finished up with what I was at in Dublin. I came home and had me doing a big pile. So it's funny how if you're in construction sites all the time working, it can it can affect your game. Connie would know that. You know, you're tired of again. But but I knew before the game started, I was on on, on Sean McGinley, and I, I knew I'd, I'd roast. You know, I I knew I. I knew it was the bit of them. So from, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, no, you know, if, if you know. And that's many of the rest of us didn't fire that day. Now that's, that's as simple as that. And you, you, it's just, it's just no, it's no re like I don't know. Like, yeah, no, they had their they had their homework done, and uh, the yeah, Michael. The following, obviously, obviously, the following year, we were we were there there about all the time that time. But obviously, the following year, we got we got we got it over that we got over the line. Connie, you were man of the match that day. And probably it probably was a day that we probably didn't play that well, but you know we kind of deserved the championship. Probably had you lost one the previous year, and probably had done it that gave us the extra sting to, to go on a step further that year. Yeah, well, as probably probably before we get to the final again, we would have to go to the semi final up in Fintra, which was yeah. for me anyway. That that time after after the bitter pill from the year before, you know, Kilcar again in the semi final, and it was yeah. it was some it was a heaven match, you know. So. Um, um, because South West was a real battleground that time. The, the wee man, the wee man went kind of went went down that day, and um, when he when they, when they got him straightened up, I remember the Kilcar crowd, and they had some crowd up on the hill. They were they were baying for blood. They were moving down, Mary. They were coming. They were nearly in on the sideline at this stage because you know their 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 star man was, was after taking a tumble. So he got up anyway. He was giving his free on the right, thirty yard free, and which was what had been unheard of. And them times he put it into Harkin's hands. That's the ice Jesus I says we have it today. And then yeah. right before right before half time, Frank McGee took some kind of a shot or speculative or whatever he was, or he was going for a point or whatever, but E Cannon put up the hand, deflected it into his own net. That was the, that was the, that was basically it. One five yeah. to five points. Right. So, yeah. yeah, that was that was the semi final. <laughs> was it, was it, was it, probably that was the final. Probably really. I think. I think. Uh, I think. I think. Dever was organising an escort for men around Fant yeah. to get us out of Fantra. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right, John. You know that thing. I think what we did it was for the for the four weeks or three or four weeks after that, we were down training all right. You know, but <clears throat> we figured we had be beaten the best teams. And we took four masters only after getting promoted that year, and uh, we took them for granted. Well, we beat we, like uh, we beat we, we beat with Or Glen and Kilcar. And on Kilcar, way. yeah, that's what I'm saying. We beat a very so, good team, and so, we figured um, out, you know, uh, four masters came out of nowhere, and we figured out oh, well, you know, there were junior team last year, whatever. We didn't realize how good they were, but that kind of shocked us for a little while till we were. 
I think we were lucky more than anything else. But at the same time, they hadn't got a lot of opportunities. Cause I looked at it more at different times, but they hadn't got an awful lot of opportunities. Now, uh, we had equally the same. The game probably was a very poor for spectators, to tell you the truth. But at the yeah. same time, we done enough to win it. Uh, and maybe it was lucky that we got it. But fair play, we didn't. But uh, we could have went like the other three or the other two afterwards. It could have been that we lost them as well, you know. Well, then God, God rest him again, Eamon. Uh, like, I'll not forget that either. Eamon, Eamon's goal, Eamon, like, Eamon Oliver's goal was probably the difference, you know. One, yeah. one. One seven to six points, and then I think their 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 main man was taking the freeze, Marty Kelly. I think he must be uncharacteristically that day. Now he, he was a little off. He missed a couple, you know. So that probably helped our that helped our cause as well, you know. Then that year in the Ulster Club, then obviously it was such a big deal to win the championship. The Ulster Club was probably kind of an afterthought. Was it Derry we were in that year? Was it Bond? Yeah, Derry. I I I I'd, I'd, I'd be looking at the, 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 the I'd be looking at the old book. I don't, uh, anyway, yeah, Ballanderry is who we played. Yeah. And uh, now, I was probably within a week or two weeks after after a heavy celebration, and I don't know how, how we took the field at all against them, but I remember well they had two brutes in the middle of the field, Oscar, right. Oscar and McVicker, 6'4 six, and 6'6. Six, six. Right. All you could do is all you could do is just test the rubs. You see, could you get them to fold a little bit? <laughs> yeah, you can hardly kick it over them. I remember that, Connie. Every day I would need to be standing on your shoulders, John Hardy. <laughs> 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 I do remember them too, Connie. When I think of it, there were two. And there were, it wasn't that they were mad big men, but they were big, two big tall fellas. Uh, but you would never like, you, usually you might deal with one big tall, like big man around the middle, but to get the double, to get the. Oh. And the the two-prong attack. Mm. Oh, they were fairly good. No, they were good. I look at the beaters, what, 2-8, two, 2-9 two, to 5 points. I so, yeah. Oh, yeah the, 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 the championship really was the one that year. I don't, I, 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 don't, I, don't hear, I don't hear you talking about the scores you got there. Who scored the 5 points that day, John? Uh, it wasn't me. There's a good that's a good trivia. There's a good trivia question. There's a good trivia okay. question for you now, John. That's right, that's right. Uh, I would say it was there, there, there was only one score. There was only one scorer that day. But I think Connie, I think in fairness, a lot of the scores Frank are John Frank McGee will go a lot of the credit for John scores, I would say. I would say right, so and, and the worst thing about it is what any scores that Connie got, no. I give them I give them the Neither one of the two of them scored, John, because John, I scored the five points myself. I, but I must have given you all the assists as they caught up near the five points. I was there. <laughs> all you had to do is just tap them over. <laughs> I went around them big men all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they very, very hard to kick to kick the paper bag over the bar now, so it was, I'll tell you. What do you think, Noel, huh? Oh, uh, you're right, eh? As long as this podcast going to last, John. Oh, we all know, but I'm very out of boys. Because I have another view. Out. I I can I'll come up with another few about Connie. I don't know too. I won't say too much about. Oh Noel, no no because, no 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 no. Connie knows you see it was a normal thing. As, as soon as you after the game, you had to get in first with your with your uh, your 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 joke or else you were uh, no good. You would have to sit in the corner and keep quiet. <laughs> but I used to figure out I'll have one for Connie now. Stay then bang him with it first and then leave. <laughs> You said to go, you obviously um, touched on about Anthony last Sunday, Anthony and Donny. You said he said to leave the show at the end of 82, which was a big, a big move. He said to make at the time, and, and obviously a big blow to everybody at home. It was, it was, that was, uh, after, was, after, was it after the Chamber of Martinez, Kelly Bays, Tony? Uh, Kelly, Kelly, well, it's a funny thing about it, like Kelly Bays, yeah, beat us, and it was, it, it was a kind of a downer, like it was a kind of a shell shocker, and now. Yeah, it was. It was a down. It was a big downer, to be honest. Like Kelly Banks wouldn't even wouldn't even have been a senior team at the time. I don't mm -hmm. think. That's right. But I think Bernard, Bernard Conan, Bernard Conan, and myself would be good buddies. But he would often say that we say that they had a few <laughs> ringers on that day that 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 were in for the weekend. Yeah, but, on, on boats. To be honest, like them they, them times in Dublin, I used to hang around with uh, Don Levy quite a bit and, and Francie Carr. Like I would have been good friends with them and. 
So on an, every every summer, Dunleavy would head to Boston, a crowd up there called St. Pat's. So he, he would be saying to me, why, why why don't you come to Boston with us for the summer? I, I, could, I, said, I said, Brendan, nah, I don't know, I don't know. So anyway, when we were beating that team, anyway, I was hanging around around Devers. After Mass one Sunday, and, and Brendan called, he says, listen, he says, I have a ticket for you <coughs> to go to Boston on Wednesday morning. So there I was on, 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 on Devers on, on, after Mass and no no passport, no visa, no nothing. And like in no intention, like just this call came, Brendan says, I'm, I'm we're heading. Me and me and you and, and uh Francie Carroll had three there's three tickets for us to go to Boston on Wednesday morning. So anyway, by Tuesday evening I had the passport in my hand. And never probably never would have had it only for Ant Anton Carroll. We've been friends with him as well. He done major spade work. And then Wednesday morning down to the embassy. There was about 200 people lined up to get into the embassy. Francie had to get, uh, get a visa as well. He says, come on, Malloy. He says, don't stop. Keep going. Head for the door. And, <laughs> <laughs> and we did. And it's just as we were coming up to the embassy door, she, she opened and we busted in and they were starting to roar at us. But me and Francie, me and Francie had our, had our visas at half nine and we were on the plane at half 11. Right. And that's how I left the town. I had the boss. <laughs> yeah. An actual, an actual actual fact, which was legit at the time, I played in three championships that year. I got Donegal, played in Boston, and then came down and played for Donegal, New York. And I had my bags packed, actually, to come home that Christmas. Like, uh, And I went, came on down, met the uncle, Uncle Jim, God rest him. Yeah. He says, look at Connie, you go home, you blow a couple of dollars you have in your pocket, and then what? So I just, I changed my mind. That's, that's, that's the way I ended up in America. The rest of us, please, Lanty. Uh, well, that's yeah, we're not, but been uh, probably you know, Lanty too, then was a phenomenal player, he would have been a huge yeah. loss, like at that time that's as well. Exactly. So, you know, so yeah, it was, uh, uh, it was, it was one of them, well, one of them things, Connie. Life, life, life takes over, and 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 once you have to go over, yeah, have to go over, I like guess. It, <coughs> it was, you just give you just give back and help the cause there for uh, not, not some years after it, you know. Ah, uh, well, um, I can, can I, I know, I can, uh, yeah, that was nice and right, and it was nice to get to come home, but I, I kind of after a while, uh, it kind of wasn't the right thing to be doing because there would have been lads yeah. training over there and busting themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're, you're coming home and taking their place, like, and yeah. I wouldn't <laughs> kind of wanted, I kind of wouldn't want it done to me, and then after a while, it kind of petered out, you know, so. I know, yeah, yeah. 83 but, and 84, you know, we obviously two more finals. Um, two more disappointments, unfortunately. Um, Unions in 83, uh, we didn't perform on the day either. It was after the Miners in 21s had won the championship that year. Yeah. And uh, Unions, obviously, they were, they were, they were strong on our side at the time, but it was, it was disappointing. You know, the team really, they should have won more championships. Roll, what oh, would you feel? Uh, well, again, again, go ahead. Maybe one of the boys want to touch on that. I was there in 83, so... Yeah. Well, uh, I would I would say we should have won more. Like like there's no doubt about it from because even in '78, I think that was a very strong team that we had in '78. Um, when Glenn beat us up in Donegal, was out in Donegal Town, and they went, right. won it. And uh, in '87 or '86, that John was my we had a good side that year as well, and Balishana and beat us. Uh, but when when they won that. They went on to win the championship as well. Oh, did they? Yeah. Well, yeah. uh, like after '82, I uh, I was out for three years with, with a shoulder and uh, I'd have an operation on my shoulder. Kind of that kind of sport things, and I kind of went away in the boat. '87. Right, kind of there was kind of there was kind of the end of an era. Then really, that yeah, kind yeah, of broke yeah, up. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. you know. And yeah. uh, as I said, it was kind of we, we went on. Then obviously in the nineties, we had had to carry bags juggernaut then for the for a lot of the nineties. But um, but it's just uh, we're nearly running out of time. That's it's a very enjoyable hour or so. No, you're still involved. You're still involved. Passing on, passing on your 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 uh, experience to the young well, lads. How, how, how does the how does the future, part, how does the future, how does the future yeah, look? Well, do you think? I think well, uh, some very good players, good players coming through at the moment. And it's just it's just more guidance now. Do you know some of them players have just guide them in the right way, and uh, I do find it can be very reward rewarding because in ninety uh, had that on the sixteen team in ninety six, and uh, like you make friends for life. Do you know? And I, right, right, right. I have, I have a lot in common with with most of them lads, and we don't end up won that minor championship. But I hadn't been round for all the games, 
I kind of was a bit sorry, but I, th I think we could have done well in Ulster, you know, if, if I'd be around more. I have that feeling, you know, they were, they, were, they were a class team. But the problem was with that team then was that I think that our dad was so strong at senior level and reserve level, they, they didn't get, in, uh, you know, they, they didn't get, right, yeah, right. team, get into reserve teams even. But there was, there was a lot of very, very good players. And, and then uh, sometimes you'd, you'd say something to a player and if you doubt yourself on the field, you couldn't do it as well. You know, you might want to do a game or maybe do something. And, and if you doubt the field, I'd be thinking, if I doubt, if I doubt to try to do that myself, I wouldn't be fair to do it. You know, no. that good, you know. But but, uh, Connie, you're, got, uh, huh? Connie you're, you're on, your own man starting playing for us now, Connie CJ. Big part of the uh, setup. Well, obviously, must be must be proud for you for him to be back here wearing the winning gold. Uh, uh, sure, look at uh, he, um he was a phenomenal player. Like he came up through the ranks here, like and I suppose you know there'd be a lot of great American kids here. And probably the one thing that that, that CJ got mastered at an early age was the kicking. That's a that's a big downfall yeah. here. But CJ was kicking. He was he was in the back of the car with me to training. <laughs> he would be kicking and he'd be wanting to be playing and getting an eye. Ah, yeah, he was. Um, he uh, he um, played very well for us. Like in 2011, here we won a junior championship. Actually, he won it for us. In the last two kicks of the game, two one fifty yard free and a fifty two yard free. You know that. Yeah. Oh, you were a point down, and, and he won it. And then the following year, we won the intermediate championship. He was a big part of that. And then 2013, he moved on to play senior with Kerry, and. Uh, he was playing full forward on that team, and they lost. They barely lost that one in the final. And then he made like he made the transition. He decided uh, the thing. The reason what he would have been looking at here was the the uncertainty of the whole thing. Like not able to build a team and go from year to year. You could you could change. You could lose seven or eight on. And he decided he was going to give the other other thing a shot. He'd made friends mm -hmm. with Peter Oliver in, in class, and you know, when the lads coming out, and uh, yeah. it was a big move, a big transition, and I would have to. You know, say a thumbs up to the to the club for accepting him and taking you know taking him on board and and uh, but he he enjoyed it and then you know um, the only one thing that would have bothered me I suppose is and I think uh, Joe Larry touched on it with CJ's put like the the he, he, I don't think he got a fair shake from the referee and all that when he arrived. In fact, was he was he a Yank or was he a Malloy or did I I seen him myself getting trumped and no no, no freeze you know so. Yeah. But ho hopefully, you know that's that's all that's all behind behind them now. And then yeah, to... that was that was, that was a common thing, Connie here, all right? You know, for the full school. I would say I would say the yeah. reason was that the referees remember Mark and Connie a few times, <laughs> <laughs> or Connie, Mark, and them. I mean, around the eye or around the side. Of... <laughs> 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 <That's> <laughs> really good. Good. This is Connie. Something I couldn't hit Connie, but I can hit this young lad. But the referee. Uh, you're right, Connie. You know, I seen him, and I was very impressed. Now, and as I say, he could pass the ball as well, because it was like <laughs> I said, to, I said to John McConnell, I was saying to John earlier, I said about uh, I was down there on Thursday or one of the days uh, during the week, I'd go around the football field, and mm. Andy Harkin was repairing the, the big nets, you know, the back backs of the goals, and uh, I was shouting to him, and I was thinking, you know, and. Uh, in my day, <clears throat> and I won't say who said this either, you know, but then in my day, uh, if Anthony was going to kick it, he would need to put the nets around the both ends of the, 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 the field and up a bit. <laughs> and somebody said to me, and Connie would need them as well. You <laughs> guys <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that was very low. But yeah. I, I oh, low, just, low. Sure, oh, well, but I wouldn't imagine who said that. Uh, now that we've been talking <laughs> about Anthony Harkin, like, Anthony Harkin was a big part of what we'd done back in them days. Like, there would have, have been a lot of us standing and Anthony would have been ch chasing. Like, he was he was ahead of his time with the fitness and all that. Like, he, he was a great club. Like, you could, I could mention all the names there, Keeney and... Noel, yourselves, Sweeney, Connell, Aiden, the whole lot. Yeah, I mean, Seamus, I would like to say the same as Connie because I remember, you know, uh, he done a lot of dog work. But you know, there was a. I remember the, the best team. I think we had we had uh, with uh, Keeney, 
Sweeney and uh, Noel in the half back line. Oh, yeah, you know, that was it was fantastic. You know, the whole idea, nothing hardly ever got past them. And for the yeah. rest of the field, they had the opportunity. And they were attacking as well. They could attack as good as anything else. So well, it, was were, it was a serious line, John. There'd be a lot of. A lot of opposition's attacks floundered on that line there, I'll tell you right now. Nothing, sure, nothing was going sure. by. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it was good. And as I say, throughout the whole team, uh, you know, all the time I played, I never could complain about any one of the players. <coughs> as I say, I always seen them all. Yes. What do you say? You're, you're not only about that, you're after complaining about me for a full hour there. Well, <laughs> I, never got the, I never got the ever. You see, if I say that to you in some bar, if I said in some bar, you would probably hit me a whack. So I can say it here uh, now, and you can't do uh, anything, you know? Uh, uh, it away. No, the thing that, that it was good. It was my old time and the, the old senior thing and all two football uh, grades it was excellent I, I really enjoyed it and yeah. the play for a club like Arda especially that had something about them you know that was part of uh, your heritage or whatever it was yeah. and you really give up any goddamn thing to, to be there and be part of it you know so well, that's say, you know, yeah sorry Con. Just to just to add to that too, like I mean I thought the first time I was given that Arda jersey over in Glenties it was like gold dust that's what it was like. And then the first time I ever played senior, again, it was, uh, I got to play with like the big boys at the time. I thought, I mean, they were, they were the, the hot shots, Peter Oliver, Cahal McGill, Patsy, Big John Boy, like, you know. But I remember my first senior game up in Fintra, I think I scored 2-1 or 2-2. And Peter, Peter Oliver, <laughs> he had the head eight of me. I was doing nothing right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Peter, Peter Oliver was was a serious, and you know, it was it was, it was great. Player. Like they, I, I was probably coming in at the tail end of their, you know, the uh, uh, tail end of their careers. Frankie Campbell yeah. would have been another. I can I can replace Frankie. I remember, I remember down in Sandfield one day. Anyway, Frankie was coming from there to Kenny, so I was stood down. There was only a minor. So I was on, and McShay was doing his usual tapping the tapping the heel, the, to, the the ankles, and all this. So Frankie came about ten minutes late, and oh, we talked out over on the side, and he made one run straight, and and himself and Mc, McShay ended up on the back of the net. Frankie was sent straight off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just went straight, went for him like just like, like the ball high. He was, he, was, he, was, he was giving me a bit of the how's your father before you know before before Frankie went on and. <laughs> Frankie, didn't, <laughs> Frankie, didn't, Frankie, didn't, Frankie didn't last two minutes himself. Uh, yeah, we were good players. Yeah, the Miguel's all were good players from that era too. Sean Brennan was another strong man playing that them days. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was a strong. There was a lot of, lot of great players in that team. But just yeah, we could talk all night, lads, and then we were kind of running out of time. But I don't. I'm not really bothered about going over the time tonight because it's because it's a great value and great cracking, lads. Just on behalf of the club, we just want to thank you for joining us tonight and for all you've done over the years. And hopefully, as I say to most of the people we talk about on this podcast, hopefully we'll see you soon together in person, and we can we can celebrate some great days and some great nights. Uh, for, for the club over the years. So, well, thanks very much, lads, and stay safe. Uh, just just to add to all that, uh, thanks again, John, and uh, long, uh, God bless the other club, and uh, let, the, let the young generation come now and and uh, be the very best that they can be and keep either out to the forefront. And Noel and John Hearn, it's good talking to you. And we'll uh, see you soon. I'd like, to, I'd like to second that as well, as I say. I'm only hoping for more success and a lot more of it possible. That, that's uh, right, as, as early as possible. So hopefully before the the, the end of this year, it's our centenary year that we'll have a yes. night out together. Absolutely, you know, John. We'll be looking and forward for it, and, and, and the drinks will be on you, John. You know, oh uh, yeah, I, John, be buying the drink. I, I'll tell you what, you see, John. I didn't, I didn't come into the one about. I, I have a chance to get both of them now. I was treasurer for a good few years there. That's right, that's and they were right, yeah. all in Dublin at the time. That's I still right. have a few and of them bunch checks in my pocket. I used to have, and, and, yeah, it was no good giving them a check, Johnny. What you had to do is give them the old cash. Oh, <laughs> and, and, a pack, and a pack broken onto the door. The new, I, I even moved house twice in the sun to figure out where I was living. <laughs> <laughs> but good times, fellas, and it was very good to have the chat with you all, I must say. Uh, and one thing now, be- before I just finish up, 
I would like to uh, commiserate with anybody that lost family and over the last year that I wasn't able to get to funerals or whatever, or okay. wakes, which I normally would try to go. But of all the, the members of the club and the whole of the whole parish, anybody that lost a, a member of their families, I would like to commiserate with them. Uh, same as that, and, and again, I suppose the biggest loss in, in the, for the club recently would have been Josie, a very, very good friend of mine. Yeah. There, would have been a, there would have been a ton of great stories that I personally would have had, and you know, me, myself, and Josie soldiered, and he, he was a great, great character and, and a serious loss, and he went too young. Yeah. Yeah. Lost, we lost everybody. Yeah. No, thanks, thanks very much, boys. Appreciate, really appreciate you coming on the night, and we'll talk to you soon. God bless. Thanks again, John. All right, boys. Okay. Good luck. Bye. See you. Bye. Thank All you the best, yes. All the best.